colleague is uh, he visits Egypt or uh, some of them they travel yeah, yeah, they, yeah they're here and they said just message us if you need something <laughs> ah, yeah. yeah so you have a lot of colleagues Egyptian yes it's uh, 70 percent 70 percent um, let's say 60 60 percent of the uh, part of yeah, yeah the staff yeah. they're all Egyptians and they work well. <laughs> ah, yeah. and they work well. During your summer here, uh, what's your highest temperature? August. Uh, how many temperature? Uh, how many degrees Celsius? Uh, it, it will reach 50? No. No? In Cairo, 42. That's the maximum, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's bearable, you can go out. I can. Oh, okay. And uh, winter, what's the lowest temperature we have? It's a. Will it reach zero? No. Yeah, let's say uh, December, January. Yeah. Uh, around the, at the evening, around seven. Okay. Sometimes That's six. Same uh, like wait. Morning, uh, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. This is the. You also have sandstorm lowest. here. Sandstorm. No, not really. No. Uh, I cannot say yes. No. But not happens, the. Happens, but not a lot. No? Not a lot. Because in Kuwait, uh, this, this is Tahrir Square. Oh, okay. Tahrir Square is the square of the revolution. I don't know anything about our yes. revolution. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, here we have the Nate Revolution. The first one against Muhammad Hosni Mubarak. Mm -hmm. Who ruled Egypt for 30 years. The second one. 30 years? Yeah. The second one. And 30 years only with one objection. Oh. Only one. Two oh. Well, he became the president in 1981 mm -hmm. and he, he made the election in 2005. Oh. <laughs> so he wrote easy 24. So, so, so you have the president here? Or president? Yeah. Now I have the president. Who's the So how many years does this uh, president have the uh, He changes the constitution <laughs> uh, just to allow him to enter Nazareth uh, to election. Oh wow. <laughs> so he will stay six years. Yes, plus, then plus, six, years plus six years again. Uh, so when is the election? Uh, no, you change. I mean, we change again, right? Yeah, the election uh, 2000. Uh, okay, two more years. So she, he can run again. He can run as president. Yeah. Two different teams, two separate teams. Mm. Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. Yes, yes, I heard. Upper this. Egypt at the south, Lower Egypt at the north. Because of the Nile flooding from south to north. North, yeah. This is the map. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, from 5,500 BC till 3,000 BC, it's much easier for two teams. What happened after that? 
3100 BC, king called Tizimarmut. He came from Upper Egypt, and created the people of the north, and he made the... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the lotus. Yes. Okay, so the lotus flower, sign of Upper Egypt, sign of the south. Oh. Papyrus, sign of Lower Egypt. Oh. By the way, the papyrus, the ancient Egyptian people used the papyrus as a sign of Lower Egypt. Papyrus is a plant? Yeah. Oh. And also they use the papyrus to make the paper. Ah, yes, 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 I heard it. But I'm, this is my first time to hear that papyrus is a plant. Yes, it's a plant. For writing? No, just they, they cut the lugs. Yes. To make the paper. Ah, okay. Okay, I don't know here about the Egyptian paper or not. Mm. Also, look, uh, through our visit inside the Egyptian Museum, I'll tell you what the specific thing is. Yes. On top, we have two representations for the cow goddess. Oh. The goddess called the goddess Hathor. Yes. The goddess of love, joy, happiness. Oh. Female face and the cow horse. Mm. In the middle, they put the name of the king inside a rectangular shape mm. called the Senate. Mm. This looks like the the, the facade of the palace, mm. which means the king inside his palace. Oh, okay. After that, they changed the shape from a rectangular shape into cartoon. And actually, the triumphal procession, like nowadays, as you see, you can see the king appears all sign of reality, but here, the king changed his crown. Mm. He's wearing the red crown, crown of Lord Egypt, crown of the enemies, because mm. he defeated them. He became the king of Lord Egypt also. This is the idea. The other sign of reality, the crown, Straight false spear wearing the royal kilt, the shindit, with left leg forward and <laughs> Look, my strategy in my work not to uh, not to tell you information to say that people forget, but to understand, to tell you why. Oh, okay. This is the most important thing. You know, if you understood. You will not need a guide anymore. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this one and that one. Let's compare between the two stages. Mm. This one, the king appears with all signs of reality. And also that one, the two kings wearing the crown. Yeah. We have a lot of sarcophagus. What are these? Sarcophagus. Just to put the coffin and the mummy. Ah, uh, tomb. Yeah, yeah, not tomb. Just we put the sarcophagus inside this tomb. Oh. Para oh. Yeah, okay. So, let's talk about this one. This is a burial chamber belongs to a man called the Dishri. In your like name, right? You can see jars. Give a meaning of word repeated, so they just put in the middle and the other two words mm. right and left. Okay, so here we start. Hatuf, Hatuf means maybe. Because this letter looks like the hands. Mm. Letter D. Oh. Rectangular shape. Letter SH. The mouse. Mm. Or mm. the fizzle. E. So dish re. The name of the owner mm. of the prayer chamber. It's local girl. So the king decided to represent himself. They started to put the name of the king inside cartouche. What's the meaning of the cartouche? It's an oval shape, no start, no end. What you mean? Who will put his name inside the cartouche will live forever. Will not die. Okay. They used the 
do you write? Do you write hard three times more than the granite, the granite, and what's the hardest tool on the earth after the diamond? This is original. Do you write? So this is original. Yeah. Where do you found this statue inside the Valley Temple of King Chapter? I found the photo and operation I'll put to the I will now we saw the statue of King Mikernes. Yes. Where I read for you the cartouche. And we saw the statue of King Heflin, mm. which he made out of the right with the falcon at the back. And this is the time to see the builder of the greatest building in the world. Yeah. Right? Agree. This one. And the builder of the greatest building in the world also built the greatest building or the greatest statue in our history. Because yes, who will build you, the great you cannot, pyramid? You cannot imagine how they build this. Yeah. yeah, and also who built the great pyramid? He also built the big stage. Oh. The builder of the great pyramid built also the biggest. The builder of the great pyramid. We only found this one. Oh, we didn't find the great one as I told you. <laughs> Why? We didn't. The only stage which we found for the king. Why? Only this? Only this one. So this is his real face? Yeah, so this is uh, 7.5 centimeters and high, made out of ivory. Ivory! Yeah, yeah elephant tusk. Yeah. yeah, just, uh, yeah, closer. This statue belongs to a man called the Carl Ibrahim. He was a priest. Oh, it's back to the fifth dynasty. Mm. As I told you, made out of sycamore, it's a life size statue. 112 centimeters in high. Okay. And this statue. <laughs> is yeah, it's like real eyes, huh? It's like a uh, you know, living. Parang boys, huh? They were two types of dwarfs in Egypt, the Egyptian moon and the African moon. They used the African for joy. Yeah, just to, to have fun. To, yeah, to have fun. Just to dance in front of them, you know, to Enter jump. Entertainment, yeah. Yeah. But the Egyptian mm. dwarfs, they used to be as a priests. So where's the African, this one? No, this is the Egyptian moon. Egyptian? Yeah. Look, the Egyptian this dwarf was African, they would give it black color. Mm. But here they give the brownish color to the skin. Why? Why they give the brownish color to the male and the white color for the female? Because the brownish color, which means the males working under the sun rays all the day. Mm. But ladies and females working mm. inside, indoors. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this statue belongs to a man called the Seneb and his wife called the Senate. Mm. Seneb and Senate. The artist who curved this statue mm. he decided to send a message to us. What's the message? Number one. Her husband is a dwarf, but she is happy with him. Uh, mm, okay. Number two. <laughs> her husband is a dwarf, but she loves him. She embraces him. Yeah. Number three. They put the statue of his kids in the same place of his legs, which means my kids will be supports, will support me and my, like my Yes, legs. yes. So they didn't put the statue of the, of the kids in the two sides, no. Yeah. They choose this place. Why the other one is dark, the other one is... Uh... The left one, this is a boy. Ah! Oh. The brown is color. <laughs> the right one, the girl. The white color. Okay. Yeah, okay, so just come closer. So I need to make the Mm. So, 
now we're standing in front of the city of King called King Muntah. So we have an opinion. Maybe the king Muntah II he was suffering from elephant legs. Oh. Yeah, elephantism. Yeah. Yeah. And he was sick. For this reason, they presented him with the rat. He died young, maybe. Hearts. He died young. Yeah, maybe. But we still have opinion. So this original one? Yeah. Air cartouche. Okay, come closer please. Air cartouche. Mm. Her, her name? Yeah, her name. But one hand, someone erased her. Oh, and someone. To close the cell, because to punish him, because she removed him from the cell. Ah, okay. And I told him. Yeah. Okay, and as you see, she appears all the time with reality, reading the name's headdress, and the straight folks be like the mm. Ah. This is the Egyptian paper, which I told you about at the beginning, with the tour of the papyrus. Oh, this is good. So this is the We have two types from the papyrus, the light one and the dark one. So this is the plant? Yeah. The stem. The light one. The let it dry. As I told you. So this is their ancient paper? Yes, this is the ancient paper. And if you visit the papyrus in the city, you will see there how they make the paper from the papyrus oh. and how they make it light and how they make it dark oh, so this is dark yeah okay so here we'll see the collection or apart from the collection not this one Apart from the collection of King Tutankhamen, not, not these ones. Mm. King Tutankhamen, he ruled Egypt when he was nine years old. Yeah. Mm. He died after ten years yeah. mm. when he was nineteen years old. Yeah. Mm. King Tutankhamen is famous because of his tomb. Yeah. Mm. Howard Carter in 1922 considered as the first person who entered the tomb after burying the king. Mm. So this year considered as the anniversary mm. of the discovery. 100 years. 1922 and we are in 2022. Mm. Mm. Okay. So around 5032 pieces found inside the tomb. Yep. We transferred a lot mm. to the in, to the Grand Museum. We still have here a few pieces, which you will see now. Yep. Now we stand in front of God Anubis. When they buried the king, they put the mummy inside a small coffin, and then they put the small coffin and the mummy inside the big one. Mm. So inside you will see two coffins. Mm. On size, not allowed to take pictures, not allowed to take photos. Uh, mm. yeah, so just keep your phone. Mm.